Hey everybody, welcome to a Bonafide Adventure Show. I am in the process of turning my John boat into a Jet John. And I'm getting ready to flip it over, put the uh, Gator Glide on, but I figured I'd give you an update because she's all glued together. Check it out. So... There it is. Never to come apart ever again. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> so, I started off down here. And uh, I glued from here to this rib. Um, and I riveted it. If you can see, those are rivets. So that's riveted from the bottom. And it's glued and filled with thickened epoxy 404. And then I put a little tape with the G-Flex again. And man, that is there to stay. And then over here, I put in the thickened epoxy underneath, real close to the edge. But then came back with this filler, which is a really cool epoxy product that has the fiberglass in it already mixed. So you just put the catalyst in, mix it up and slather it in there. Boy, did that work out well. This is where my little boo-boo is, right here. Filled that in nicely. Once I get this fold uh, rolled over, you'll see uh, um, that it's filled in nicely underneath, too. This is the bulkhead. Gonna go right in here. And uh, behind that is engine. In front of that is my space for fishing. Um, that's a lot of space. There's a good amount of retail, that, uh, real estate there. Retail, yeah. Real estate there now for fishing. And uh, I'm going to be super happy. I'm going to have these sides to, uh, because before I sat ahead of the sides. Now I'm going to sit back here so I can put stuff here on the sides. Oh man, it's going to be so freaking cool. I'm going to leave these nuts in, in this brace, and I'm going to build a, kind of a box beam, I guess, if you want to call it, pretty much, you know, right across there, and rivet it to the side of the boat, that ought to hold it really nicely. Um, I think the fuel tank, I need to make a trip to Cabela's and get a fuel tank somewhere um, so I know what size I'm going to deal with it's going to be fuel tank and then my seat and the battery's got to go in here somewhere still got some work figuring out to do so uh, I glued up the rear <laughs> this is the best part man it looks so gorgeous I use the uh, 610 G-Flex 610 worked out nice. These were spacers. I have to fill them back in the hold so I have a nice gap of um, Epoxy in there that'll hold it for life And uh, I popped the side back in just to make everything temporarily just to make everything solid so I could put the bracing in um, That's one of the things I was going to do, but with it getting, it's, the weather's pretty bad. That was a storm that just went by but didn't quite hit us. But it's supposed to be storms coming. Really better not be messing around with high dollar epoxy. So I'm going to roll it over and start the prep work on the bottom for uh, Gator Glide. I'm going to put you right here and do a time lapse thingy, my jig. Yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> there we go. A little out of breath, to 
it's not exactly light but I'm liking the looks of it see this came out rather nice I won't have much more just a little a little more maybe shave off some here that's nice a little bit of a lump here but beauty is nobody will ever see it ever again nobody crawls under my boat to look underneath it <laughs> yeah and uh, I got these holes to fill but I needed to fill them from this side so they drain in and don't drain out yeah this one's this one's practically done already just a little bit more just a nice smooth transaction the water should whew, go right in no problem <laughs> what is this that looks fresh Oh well, looks good. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Next video will be about Gator Glide. Putting on the Gator Glide. See ya.